My name is Amanda Lynn Joyce and I'm auditioning for Sleep Cure. This is the Phoebe and Milo audition piece. There could be mild side effects. Okay. Which you don't even know what they are yet. Side effects may include dizziness, nausea, slight fever, irregular heartbeat, deja vu, abdominal pain, hypotension, dry mouth, daydreaming, sore throat, loss of appetite, death, and indigestion. Did you say deja vu and daydreaming and death? Yes. None of the side effects should occur. Only in one instance has the user experienced daydreams, non-sleeping, non-sensory perceptions. The product is still in testing and is to be consumed at your own discretion. No one has died. Do you take it? Yes. And it works? Yes. What do you do with all your time? It's hard to say. At first I wanted to have more time to study, like you, but now that I've been awake for so long, time has some meaning. You don't have to decide on anything right now. If you want to sleep on it, you can. No. I'll, I'll do it. Have you experienced any side effects? Uh, no. Nope. Nothing? I'd be happy if there weren't any side effects, but it's highly unlikely. Uh, maybe shaky hands? Uh, an issue with procrastination? People do often say that it's a challenge to uh, adjust. It's technically working, I guess. I've been more productive, so that's better, but things are also worse in a way. The repetition of tasks is more mundane. Like, since I'm awake longer, I've had to tie my shoelaces that many more times. It's more time wasted. More time where I'm forced to be me. With sleep, I used to disappear. Now there's nowhere else to go but here. Uh, it's an insomnia of the consciousness. I'm so tired of myself, but I can't sleep it off. Are you okay? Maybe the drug isn't for everyone. Don't feel like you have to keep taking... No, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I have to go, I have to... I'm, I'm fine. I just I just realized I have a, uh, a thing I have to do. Yeah, I'm going to go do that thing now, so I'll see you later. Goodbye. You were having a hallucination, weren't you? How could you tell? Because I have them too. I know that look in your eyes. How long has this been occurring? Since I first started. You were supposed to tell me. I know. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want the hallucinations to stop. Well, at first I was scared of them, but then they became this alternate reality, which I liked. Or maybe more of an alternate way of dealing with reality. That's not right. The dreams aren't real. I know that. Look, I can't take them anymore, and you shouldn't make them anymore. Who are you to say that to me? I know, but listen. You have to be taking them to deal with something, right? No normal person chooses this. Whatever normal means. You know what I mean. Maybe you feel like you have to do it, like it's the only way you can exist. But it's not. You existed before you felt the need to cover things up. Things were different then. You didn't have the shit you have now. So we make excuses for how we are compared to how we were before. But we'll never get back to how we were before. We can't keep telling ourselves we're going to get over it or believe other people will when they tell us we will. We won't get over it. We can never be that person again. We can't go back or pretend to hide from it. There is an alternative. We have to live with it. 